There are a lot of products available on the internet and also just at your local drugstore. They're over-the-counter bleach products. They are much um, lighter concentration than what we're allowed to use in the dental in the dental chair. The this is a 25% hydrogen peroxide solution that we use in the Zoom. You would never ever want to use that in your home bleaching products, or you would burn the tissue. It's it's very, very strong bleach product. Most of the over-the-counter products are either a 10% solution or a, a carbamide peroxide, which is a slightly different chemical formation than what this is, and they're all effective. The, the problem with just ordering products over the internet or buying them on your own is most people don't understand that Again, if you have restorations in your teeth, they're not going to lighten. If you have periodontal disease, any other kind of oral problems, you don't want to be doing this without having a complete exam be before you begin because it is, it is a real dental procedure and you don't want to be causing any trauma to your teeth. If you have cavities in your teeth, as an example, um, the bleach can be very, very caustic. It can go through the, the cavity area in towards the center of the tooth or the pulp and can cause some damage to your teeth. So it, it, the best idea is to get a complete exam first.